Lakers Hornets. Kobe and the guys coming in 0-5. Charlotte coming in 3-3, and and they've got that guy, Al Jefferson. You had to figure that's exactly where they were going to start this game, is go at their big man, Jordan Hill, to see if he could contend with what was going on inside. And then Marvin Williams on the outside, he actually had a decent game, 3-5 of five from three-point lane for, lane for 11 points, and they got off to a great, fast start. Kemba Walker scoring, he had 17, and then Robert Sacre misses the free throw. It's recovered by Wayne Ellington. Ed Davis throws it down over Max Hill. Well, all night long, the bench has found a rhythm here. They brought some energy, which got the Lakers back in this game, along with none other than Kobe Bryant. Sick reverse by Kobe, who had 21 points, six boards, four assists in the game. And then Kemba Walker with the steal. And he's going to go all the way. And I heard a tweet. Get him to the line, the foul on Lynn. Great hesitation there at the free throw line. And then Kemba kicking it into fourth gear. Gets the contact and the end one. Lakers, a huge third quarter. 34 to 13. They outscored the Hornets in that quarter. Well, they were in danger of going 0 6 until these two guys, Carlos Boozer and Jeremy Lynn, got in attack mode. And they worked for four days on figuring out ways to get them more aggressive. You don't have to tune this guy into the aggressive button. That was part of a 16 to 1 Lakers run. Jeremy Lin isn't done. Watch this runner off glass. There you go. Mm, beautiful shot from Lin. He had 21 points, seven assists. His best game as a Laker. We go to the fourth quarter, and the Lakers having fun now. Ronnie Price threw his legs to Ed Davis plus the foul. Good minutes for the bench to start the quarter so that the other guys could rest. Nice drop off, and then sweet left, soft touch. And there's the boozer yell, a commonplace in Chicago, now hearing it in L.A. But eight assists for Ronnie Price, and then Kobe comes back in to just put a few nails in the coffin. 